we arrived in Karatayud and we want to explore a bit the town center and the surrounding areas here in the next few days. I'm looking forward to having a wander around and doing some hiking in the countryside. The region of Aragon in Europe. The capital is Zaragoza. We flew into Zaragoza and took a train to Calatayud. It takes 1 hour 20 minutes on a slow train and 20 minutes on a fast train. Reaching here the main square in Kalatayud, they have a serious problem of subsiding here. Some houses are a bit wonky. At the moment we are exploring the alleyways of the Jewish Quarter. Absolutely fantastic views over the city. A very nice feature of Kalatayud are the stalks. You can see everywhere. The old synagogue with separate entranceways for men and women. Now actually a church. Gonna do some hiking today. The Camino del Cid is a long distance path through Spain and is coming through the local area here. Let's go down to the river and have some lunch. For our lunch we had some noodles and now we follow it up with some tortilla. Most of our hike today was on a disused uh, railway track again. Uh, it's lovely countryside here. It's like, like in the Wild West a little bit. Is it like a hook? It's Easter Wednesday. Esto va a costar. Sí, ¿y cuántas personas? 20. 20, no más. 20, tanto. Y pasa mucho Sí, mucho, mucho. ¿Somos así? Sí. Era su patrona. Y aquí están. Aquí están. Esto es esto muy importante porque estas son.
on top of Kalatayud is the Castello de Ayub, a castle built by the Arabs. The storks are sitting on the wall and sometimes they do their clapping here. More storks arriving. And you can hear the clapping. Wow. There's a really serious problem with subsidence in the city. And it is surprising that this tower is still standing. The angle is really scary. Spring has arrived and the cherry trees are blossoming. Today we are walking on a former railway line connecting Santadea with the Mediterranean. Uh, I think the railway line has never been completed. It's raining today, but we are out and about anyway. No point to stay in the hotel room. On our walk, we ended up in this amazing place called Mauenda. Fantastic wines available in Kalatayud. Wine comes from Malawenda, which is the town we walked to the other day. Makes that difficult walk worthwhile. Can I put this in there? I can put it in my rucksack. I'll do it. I'll mm. shove it in. Mm. 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 Shove it in. The weather is much better than we expected, yeah. so today should be nice. It's full of thyme here and a lovely smell around. The landscape is like on the moon here, uh, but there is a mountain bike race going on at the moment and there's a bit of a noise disturbance through loudspeakers. The landscape outside of Kalatayud is a bit like a desert, but there are a few pine trees. <laughs> we finished off with a nice meal last night in Kalatayud, and now we packed our bags and it's back to London. So, did you enjoy the trip, Lorraine? Yeah. Definitely, the week's flown by and I would recommend Kalatayud as a base to visit, especially if you like walking. It's a bit shabby there and the houses are a bit wonky. Yeah, it's uh, not a posh place but it's interesting and there's lots to see and lovely countryside. Well, we booked another trip to Sicily in Italy, so see you there. <laughs>